Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is my first video for 2021 and I am so excited to organize. So we're going to be organizing my IKEA Alex 5 drawer and I'm going to show you how I decided to organize it. Maybe you will get some ideas on how to organize your makeup collection and yeah, don't forget to like my video, subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll, let's get started with the video. We are finished, done this freaking drawer. Oh my gosh, it was a freaking hassle. I did do it by myself and look, the nails are gone. I freaking got a cut on my finger. This was a bitch. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this was a bitch. Do not do it by yourself, have help. It was a struggle, I messed up, but it took me way over two hours. So glad it does stick out way more than my desk. Oh my gosh ignore the dirtiness but it doesn't matter because i'm gonna end up throwing this desk away eventually i just haven't found one at the moment but yeah it looks super clean and cute so guys i ended up getting this grip grip prints from a target we're gonna open this up and we're gonna measure inside of these drawers so nothing slides off and this one looks pretty thick so they measure about 11 and a half. So here is this one. Let's see. It's perfect. There is still like this much from the back. Um, it didn't really bother me because I really won't put anything all the way back there. So this is fine right here. And then I want to show you guys these organizers that I picked up. These are from Amazon. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, eight little cubicles. And I'm going to use these for my bouncers, my blush. I picked up three. And these are really good thick material. I saw these and everybody had good reviews on these. These don't come out, just so you know. And then I think you guys see this in one of my hauls. This is basically a um, seasoning organizer for your drawer for like the kitchen. But I'm gonna use this for my liquid lipstick just because I like how it looks. And now we're just gonna decide where to put all this makeup. Oh my gosh, there's a scratch. <gasps> This is the only thing that sucks about IKEA. It's just it's a very cheap material, so it won't last long. And look, I already have some paint removed already. So now I have everything organized. So right here is gonna be my liquid lipsticks, my bronzers and blush, my everyday face palettes and eyeshadow. And then this one might be just hair products. And this one might just be to restock on like makeup remover wipes, cotton stuff. I think this one I'm gonna do with the last one. I'm only doing my ugh my everyday bronze my everyday palettes and this one just because i don't want it to be too heavy and of course this is ikea so you don't want to put too much heavy stuff on these drawers or it won't last long so that's my organizing let's get started And I'm putting all my red colors all the way in the back just because I don't really wear red anymore. Like, who am I kidding? Who am I? Ew, look. 
This one is so old, I'm throwing this other one out. These are so good guys. Definitely recommend. I'm probably gonna do another um, nude lip combos. These are like my favorite right now. And these are still room if I stack them up. You know, they'll still be able to close. I know this whole thing kind of takes up a lot of room instead of putting them in like little cubicles i just like how it's like spread out and easily i could be like oh i want my morphe oh let me get some kylie over here some color pop you know it kind of looks like a store and that's what i want this one is going to be for our bronzers and i'm using the organizers that i got from amazon i'll put all the the measurements on these so you could fit let's see i could fit one I could fit three and there's like a small gap right over here as you can see and you could actually fit another whole row back there so you probably fit one two three four five you probably fit six like this so I'm running this way just because I'm sitting over here to my left and then when I want the products I'll just open this on my right and look it so it'll be on my side and it'll be easier instead of looking at from front so i think it makes sense and it'll be one two three four and there's a gap here which i don't mind i think it will still work This one it's gonna be all my my everyday face and I should have had this like neutral colors. So I have this little square one in here and this is also from Amazon. And I'm gonna put all my tiny little like not quads but small little palettes that I have and these will go perfect in here. These are all from the French collection. And then I got these two from actually if I below. This is their vivid and then bare all. So these are so cute. I really like this one. I haven't tried this one yet. Um again, I just love small eyeshadow palettes. They're super cute and so pretty. Like kind of reminds me, I forgot who came out with a palette like this. And other in the bag, I'm gonna put my bigger palettes. This one is from Beauty Creations. Um very old school eyeshadow palette. This one is a Jasmine. I don't really collect big palettes like this anymore. I used to be obsessed with huge palettes like this. Um, this is one of my favorites. It is a ruby and it's basically just a neutral brown color. Definitely Morphe vibes. And like your neutral color. I should start using this more often. It's just it's so big, I just don't go for bigger palettes, which I always forget. See, this is my Morphe neutral brown. So I give me this palette. And again, I haven't picked this one up. It's the 
And then I have this tiny little box right here. And these are basically little eyeshadow palettes. Eyeshadow. Blush palettes that I already have. This one does not fit. So that's why it's on the side right here. Like, it's okay. It doesn't matter. And I just got this one for Christmas from my sister. Another Morphe palette. It's such a neutral color. So this one, it's gonna join the side. If you want in depth, I mean, this is basically Morphe, ColourPop, Kylie, um, L'Oreal, Beauty Creations, the like lipsticks, I mean, lip glosses. Here are some highlighters. Here are some blushes. These are actually setting powders, pressed powders, but we're just going to leave it here. And then, of course, all my bronzers. You guys already know my CD bronzer is my favorite. But yeah, that completes my organizing, building my IKEA. So this completes my video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I love watching all these organizing videos. Um, I wish I could do my makeup collection, but I just don't have a lot of makeup. Like that video will be done in like three minutes. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is my first video of 2021. And I'll see you guys in my next video.